That's just a little bit of what I had to deal with for four years. <laughs> it's a pleasure to welcome everyone back to Muskegon. Uh, what a great place to be right now. There, you filled you on a few things, buildings and the things like that. But when you look through the Hall of Fame inductees this year, special congratulations to them, the special people that are involved with Muskegon. Every year I say, boy, what great athletes, but also what great people. And that's what we're all blessed in Muskegon, to have that family and that gentle mind that's special to all of us. So congratulations to all the inductees. What a special class, and uh, what a great day for them. Uh, I would like to, real quick, wish our football team the best of luck today. I know if you haven't had an opportunity to see our football team play this year, you're in for a treat. Uh, they're special. And uh, they, they play with the passion that you want a Muskegon athlete to play with. And uh, really well coached, and that's a credit to Coach Logan and his staff. So good luck today. Guys, wish you the best. Pleasure for me to have the opportunity to uh, introduce Kevin to you. Uh, Kevin uh, came to us to Mustang, was an outstanding recruit, and uh, he never let us down. Uh, as you go down through the list of things that Kevin did, I, I think some things that really stand out. One is consistency. He fit and filled expectation. And I'll read what down through here and you'll understand what I mean when I'm, when I'm done. He was first team. Ohio Athletic Conference in 1985 and 86. He was our team captain in 86, and that team ranked 10th in the country. Uh, he was our Paul Horneman Award winner for the Ohio Athletic Conference, outstanding defensive lineman in 86. He was Pizza Hut All-American in 86, preseason Associated Press All-American in 1986, Associated Press All-American in 86, preseason Football News All-American, and Football... Uh, Football News All-American 86, led our team in quarterback sacks in 85 and 86, and uh, like I said, he was our team captain. Kevin was a great young man. He coached because he loved football, and he was enthusiastic. He would come to practice, and he had a competitiveness about him that he didn't want to lose. And as a coach, when you're around people like that, it makes your job a heck of a lot easier, especially when they're talented, big, strong, fast, explosive, come off the ball, those types of things. And Kevin had those talents. He also had the passion to play. And the bigger the game, and the bigger the competition, and the bigger the opponent, the better he was. And I think that's a credit to anybody. When you face the challenges, and you're up for that, and you excel the most in those kind of situations, it really makes you special. And that's what put Kevin above some of the other people that, that uh, he played alongside in as you compare him down through, through the years. But he was always fun to be around. And... Uh, that, that personality kind of wore off on other people too. He would, he would be the, you know, he would make practices go a little faster, even though he didn't think so probably at times. But uh, he had that, that special gift. And uh, what an honor today to, to have the opportunity to, to, to talk about Kevin in that way. A few things from since he's graduated. To show you his competitiveness and his ability and his desire to be good, he owns seven companies right now. And he has over 300 employees. So he has carried that competitiveness, that desire to be good, and that want into his, into his life. And uh, what better way to exemplify some of those characteristics is to be successful today like Kevin is. So uh, what a pleasure for me to have an opportunity to coach a young man like Kevin, as well as James, and, and to watch him <coughs> work alongside Donna for so many years. But what a special day for me to introduce to you our Hall of Fame this year, Kevin Lewis. <laughs>